Another day, another gel life. And another episode. I am Justin Nong, Mr. Filipinas International Ambassador 2024. And I am Emerson Gomez, your Mr. Cosmopolitan Philippines 2024. And this is The, the Gel Life, Miss Universe, Universe Philippines, Philippines, All Access. And right now, I am here with Miss Florida. Hello, Matea. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm happy to be in Sultan Kudarat. How are you? Speaking of Sultan Kudarat, what are you looking forward in Sultan Kudarat? Um, really seeing everything about it. Um, since we touched down in the plane, it's just been so welcoming. And many people, of many of the candidates know that I love pomelo. So I'm so excited to be able to get some pomelo here. <laughs> so how was it so far? Are they uh, welcoming or? Um, okay, so the day has been like already like half of it, um, but it's been amazing. I could just highlight how we were greeted um, on the airport at Jensen because there was like a dance, a cultural dance that was welcomed by us. And then there was also like um, people who have already been there like waiting for us directly, giving us some flowers and also like giving us a little bit of a feast. So like, you know, pika pika lang na what they can offer here in Mindanao or here in Sultan Kudarat. Ako dami nga din ako na. I love the brownies oh, I love, actually. I also love so the good. delicacy. Sobrang <laughs> daming flavors that you yeah. can that they can offer. Dun yeah. pa lang when we arrive at the I already airport. felt the welcoming, wow. you know, there and then when we got here to our location here at Carlitos, we have so many people waiting as well. Like the warm welcome. We could just be hearing each and every province's name, cheering us on. And you know, even if it's not yet the coronation, it feels like it is because you know, there's so much people here waiting and cheering for each and every girl. How are you doing? I feel really good. I feel over the moon. It's just mind blowing, honestly, the experience ever since I set uh, my foot to um, Sultan Kudarat. Well, first, of course, Jensen. It's just a lot of surprises, a lot of just beyond my expectations of this province as just everything I feel over the moon like I said. So uh, what can you say about the misconception mm -hmm. about being uh, Mindanao or Sultan Kudarat unsafe for mm -hmm. our uh, tourists? Mm -hmm. This is actually my I think third time here in Mindanao wow. but first time here in Sultan Kudarat and I can say that that misconception is just misconception. It's actually safe here. We arrived you know safe and you can you can actually you can't feel it that mm -hmm. the this uh, place is unsafe. So if I were you guys, go ahead and try Sultan Kudarat. Yeah. I'm very proud to say that I'm a Sultan Kudaratanyos. So to answer your question, yeah, uh, it's very safe here. It's actually the one of the biggest misconceptions. Even if you go outside, I can compare it to Manila, sorry. But, you know, you can go outside very safe, no snatchers or, you know, eat or, you know, and uh, the people here are very friendly. Sultan Kudarat is um, ano, 80, uh, composed of 80% Christians and 15% yung sabi ni Congresswoman kanina, 15% um, Muslims and 5% Lumad. So most of the people here are Christians and they are all religious and it's it's composed Sultan Kudarat is composed of diverse culture and people here are so ano po, very peaceful, very loving and we could offer you a lot. Sultan Kudarat could offer you a lot. Kung saan imo, kung saan imo hang he expect sa upcoming mga event nato dere sa Sultan Kudarat because you know as we all know Sultan Kudarat has vibrant um, culture beautiful places, amazing sceneries. So, and alam ko na mo add ta sa mga places na yung ana. Diba? Mga bang uh -huh. ako. So, what, an, kung saan imo mga expectation ba sa matiabot na mga So, I don't know if you know me too well, Kuya Justin, pero since Boracay, I'm always you know, buying souvenirs. <laughs> so, my expectation is that in, in every destination that we go to magsaya ba dapat so sa tanan destination na amo adtuan ganahan ko na makapalit ko bisag usa lang jud ka souvenir and hopefully na yung mag sponsor <laughs> free gifts i 
Maybe, I take it. Maybe you can ask our viewers for that. Viewers, um, if uh, na ganahan mo hata, na rin din sa Caritos Hotel. So, if, if deliver na lang yun yung gift. And that is a wrap for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as we do. And please guys, don't forget to tune in because in the next episode, we are going to be showing you the beauty of Sultan Kudarat. Of course, with the Miss Universe Philippines delegates. I am Justin Ong. And I am Emerson Gomez. And you guys are watching The Jell Life, Miss Universe, Universe Philippines, Philippines All Access. access. <laughs>